to try to not set off the uh, fire alarm, but who knows? We'll see. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make uh, flatbread, and it's going to be a nice quick flatbread. And I'm going to show you a couple ways to, to cook it, to press it out, and to flavor it. So let's get started. So uh, we're going to actually use a, a, a double leavening. So it'll, it'll rise really quickly this way. I'm going to use self-rising flour, which already has a leavening agent in it. I'm going to put in um, a little less than a cup here. to use fresh rosemary. Uh, Joan has this little project going where she cuts little sprigs off of our large rosemary plant and puts them in water and they take root. So that's just a little kind of bonus how-to. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the rosemary leaves Oh, great. You put those right in as well. And you want to do this when it's dry. Because if you try to do this when it's wet, when the, uh, after you put in the liquid, it won't cut this up. So let's put in a little bit of salt. I'm going to put in like maybe an eighth of a teaspoon. Not too much. We don't want it too salty. And our second leavening agent will be quick rise yeast. And again, maybe like a quarter of a teaspoon of the yeast. So we're going to process this dry so that it actually cuts it up. Well, that's, well, that's doing that. Let me just talk really quickly about how we'll be cooking it. There's two ways that we're going to do it today. One is the stove top, and I've got this cast iron griddle, and it's on medium high. So not, not on high, but not medium high. You can kind of put your hand right here, that's about two inches up, and you can hold it there for maybe five seconds. That's about medium high. Over here, what we'll have is I have <coughs> a stone used for baking. And we're just going to preheat our oven to 500 degrees. There we go. And I set it off. There we go. All right. There we go. All right. So we've turned this up to full. And we'll see if we can avoid scaring everyone again. So let's, I think that was when we were opening the oven. So you can see that the garlic and the rosemary has pretty been pulverized. They've disappeared into the flour. So let's put our liquid in. And what we're going to use is some yogurt. And I'm going to start off with about a quarter a cup of yogurt and the the um, texture that I'm going to be looking for is a shaggy ball. So if it goes beyond the ball and turns into a slurry, it means it's too wet. So there's the ball for me, which is a good sign. All right, but you can see the ball isn't sticking together, so I'm going to have to put in a little bit more flour. I'm going to put in maybe two tablespoons of flour. We'll see what that does. 
So right now it, it broke, broke it up, but the ball will reform. This is pretty good. It's a little bit sticky, so I'm going to put in one tablespoon. almost doubled in size. So, you could roll this out, which would be a pretty traditional way to do it, but I'm going to do this fast. And I'm going to show you two ways, or two, two implements that you could use to do this. So, this is a tortilla press. And what you want to make sure when you press this out, because it's pretty soft dough, that you use a liner. So what I do is I have a, a recycled plastic bag here. And I'm going to pinch off about a golf ball size piece. I'm going to put that right in the center. And press it down. And we'll just You don't have to press this too hard. But there you have it. So that's one. That's ready to go. And let me show you the other, the other one that I have here. So this is a wooden one that I made with just two pieces of uh, plywood. You could use one by if you wanted to. Just a hinge, it's a one and a half inch hinge, and uh, a stick of wood that you have for a handle. Here's our liner. That right in the middle. Press it down, give it a little head start there. And we'll do that. So this doesn't have quite the leverage, so what I'll just do is I'll give this a couple turns. And one more. Just so we're back where we started. There. Alright. So let's um, we'll experiment here. We'll put one on here up, up top, and we'll do the other one on the bottom in the uh, oven. So this, I'm going to turn this up a little bit. We'll probably set the alarm off. That'll be exciting. So we'll put that there. That's on cast iron. And we'll put this right in here. Stone. That's a 500 degree oven. Look, there we did it again. Here we go. All right. So we know it's the oven that causes it. Let me turn that up a little bit. All right. 
So let me show you. I'll, I'll make uh, I'll make another couple. Very good. Waiting. These will cook probably for three or four minutes. So we just put that right in the middle. See it starts to smoke around the edges, which is what you want. And then there you go. Alright, here we go. We're gonna be brave. We're going to open this the oven again. You can see, look at that, that puffs up really nicely. And did we escape? We did. I love it. Alright. Well, Almost. Come on. Here we go. All right. So what I'm going to do, and I'm going to shut my thumb off, so that when I go and get that, it doesn't do that again. how I like to serve them. Let me, uh... <laughs> Alright, no. hold your ears. No. Yeah. So you can see that they do come out a little bit differently depending on whether you use the oven. <laughs> Here's what I like to do is I like to cut these into quarters. This one here, actually, if you wanted to, you could stuff it. But quarters is good. And we'll Some nice hummus dip. Let me uh, just uh, check this one last time. That's well, done. Yeah. So before I taste that, what you can do is you can make a bunch of these, and you can just uh, put them into a bag, and you can put them in the refrigerator. You can freeze them. Just you know, reheat them if you want. But um, they're pretty good. So let's give it a try. I'm gonna try this nice puffy, puffy one. Oh, it feels hot in my hand. So there's some hummus dip. Yum. Well, thanks for stopping by, and uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs>